Hey everybody, happy release day. It is our second 2024 Top Series 2 video of the day. We did jumbo boxes earlier and now we're gonna look at the hobby boxes and check these out. So thank you very much for joining us. We've got five different configurations of Series 2 to look at. We did jumbo earlier today. We've got hobby today. We also have blaster boxes, hanger boxes, and fat packs. All our possession, we'll be doing those videos for you over the next day or two. And also on the horizon, you've got the monster boxes coming, I think, in early July. So there's a whole bunch of Series 2 to talk about today. The hobby boxes that we're opening here, these boxes are just a little bit under $100 a piece. I think most hobby shops probably have them around 90 or so. You get 20 packs, again, in this with 12 cards per pack. Let's see if we can get some good stuff out of this. Let's bring our first sponsor in. It's Michael Vitolo. So, Michael, good luck to you. And let's see what we can find. By the way, we'll be live tonight on YouTube here. And also, we'll be live on Whatnot with a double live stream on two different platforms. Opening Series 2. Let's see what we can find. And also, selling some singles on Whatnot as well. So, 20 packs. Kind of curious to see what the output is going to be for numbered cards. There's one auto or relic. I'm also always interested in that output. For example, if we buy a case of 12 hobby boxes, how many relics are we going to end up with? Is it going to be like 10, which is an awful output? I think the best that I can remember was 2023 Top Series 1 last year was about 50-50. We'll see how this is. I guess we'll get a better idea when we break through a bunch of these cases and kind of get a count, a running count. So here we go. Here's your designs. If it's your first time seeing it, the design is the same as Series 1, but the players are going to be different. There's Heston Kerstad, who's one of the top 10 rookies in this set. And look at that. Mickey Mantle, back where he belongs with Tops. Great picture right there. I love that card. Very, very nice Mickey Mantle card. Michael, congratulations on that one. That's an awesome card. That's my favorite card so far of this box, although it's still early. The top rookies we're looking for, number one is going to be the Yoshinobu Yamamoto, and the second one is Shoto Imanaga. There's an Aussie Smith around the horn. After that, it gets a little muddy. Or murky, however you want to say it. There's some decent rookies in here, spots three through ten. And it's all going to depend on how they perform this year. Some of them have better pedigree than others, but you're looking for Junior Caminero. There's nice Brandon Crawford and Shohei Otani there as well in his Dodgers uniform. Also looking for, we already saw the Heston Kerstad. Jordan Lawler came with a lot of pedigree. Pete Crow Armstrong as well as in this Mason Wynn. And Wilbur Abreu have been doing fantastic this year. They're on the top 10 list of rookies, along with... Austin Wells, and probably number 10 on that spot is Jung Hoo Lee rounding them out. Ellie De La Cruz coming up. He was the number one rookie in Series 1. You might be thinking, what the heck? Why is he in this? It's an insert. So a lot of times, pretty much every year, if you got a rookie card in Series 1 and you're really good, they'll make you, they'll find a way to get you in Series 2 and update any way they can. They'll put you on inserts. Here's his 1989 Series 2 insert. That's a great card right there. We'll get that one sleeved up and he did have an 89 insert as well there's Wilbur Abreu Willier Abreu hit an 89 insert in series one with a different picture on it and let's see what else we've got there's Nick Allen we've got Aaron Judge covering the field spray chart right there which is pretty nice I think that's kind of a cool little card nothing too crazy as we move on to the next box here the next stack we'll do these in stacks of three because we got two of these boxes to look into but we'll go live tonight probably around i would say 6 6 30 p.m somewhere in there so i want to go ahead and get everything started before whatnot wednesday so let's see what we can find now in our next box Got Joe Boyle right there, and we've got a let's play ball. CJ Stroud, there we go. So some of the big cards 
on these first pitch cards. Let's play ball. C.J. Stroud also has an autograph card in this checklist, along with Webb and Yama, who's in a Yankees uniform. So that's a chaser. There are some non-baseball stars in this set and he's one of them, so that's pretty cool right there, Michael, with that one. I don't know what that sells for. I bet it, uh, I bet it's worth something for sure, even though it doesn't have an autograph on there. You could probably get some money for that one. Very, very nice. We'll see what else we've got in this second stack. There's a Mike Trout fan favorites card, which reminds me of like 95 Fleer a lot. Hunter Goodman rookie card. Still no hit yet in this box. There is going to be one hit per box. Also, I'm noticing there's not a lot of numbered cards yet. Now, we're only halfway through the box, but we're getting there. There's Shota Imanaga, who is a 30-year-old rookie, and uh, he's pretty good. I don't think he should be the rookie of the year. I think that should be Paul Skeens if Skeens ends up the year where I think he'll be. We'll see what happens, and it looks like the hit's coming up. It's going to be a relic, and it's you, Darvish. Numbered to 199. Game used jersey right there. You Darvish and Kyle Tucker gold card to 2024. That's actually our first numbered card. The jumbos were pretty loaded with numbered cards. I was pretty pleased with the amount of parallels that we had in there. We have another stack, but right now I'm, I think as usual, I'm back on Team Jumbo. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think the best configuration is, at least for right now. I'm leaning towards Jumbo. I've not seen the Blasters yet. The Blasters, once again, have a bunch of parallels dealing with summer, like Statue of Liberties and hot dogs and that kind of stuff. We'll be checking those out. Some people really like that. Some people find them a bit gimmicky. But let's see what we have in this last stack. We already got the autograph. And or the relic, the hit we got the hit of the box, I should say. Let's see what else we've got. We have an 89 satchel page number to 199. That's a pretty cool card right there. Satchel page numbered all star card. There's Jung Hu Lee, who's number 10 on my list. Jordan Lawler's right around that five spot or so. We got Mookie Bet spray chart covering the field and. We still have the silver pack to check out for Michael as well. So even if you feel like your box came up a little bit light, you do have a chance for redemption with your silver pack. So hopefully we can uh, maybe hit something in there. There's Austin Wells, rookie card, 1989 style. Got Dylan Carlson right there from the uh, Cardinals. There's Parker Meadows. Too bad Austin Meadows is not around. That would have been kind of cool if they could have played together. I don't know if we'll see Austin Meadows ever again. Kind of a shame. Former number one pick, former All-Star just a couple years ago. Now he might never play again just because of psychological issues. I hope he can get himself right. There's a numbered card there. We're having good luck with numbered inserts around the horn, numbered to 299, but only one numbered base card in this. I'll be interested to see the second box to see if we can do a little bit better with the number base cards, we have a significant stats cards of Ronald Acuna Jr. And also there's a special hobby only chase of Ronald Acuna Jr. 4070 Club special inserts. Let's check the silver pack out for Michael. We've got Max Scherzer on the top. Mickey Mantle. So they're starting to pump Mantle a little bit. That's awesome. We do not see a lot of Mickey Mantles really at all over the past couple of years. If you did, it was like a chase card. That you'd have to open tons of packs to find one, but they're starting to make him a little more of a common find, and I think that's a good idea. Everybody loves Mickey Mantle cards, even if you've never seen him play like I did. Heard your dad talk about him. You see how collectors love him, and you learn a little bit about his career, and you respect him a lot and want his cards. So next up, we got John Cashman. You've got the second of the two boxes. We're doing both of these boxes today. I wonder how many Series 2 packs I will have opened by the end of the night tonight. We're just getting started. Again, we'll be live with the big Series 2 breaks on Patreon, which we're filling right now. We've got some sold-out rounds already. Other rounds still available. We also have some pick-your-team rounds. If you want to join Patreon and get into our breaks, you can. We do all those breaks on YouTube, typically Tuesday nights. We did some breaks last night, but since Series 2 was on in... I just move those breaks back to today. Should be fun. I think we might have maybe three rounds that end up filling with jumbos. And then we also have a hobby round that we're working on as well, along with some jumbo pick your teams. 
Then on Wednesdays, we go over to Whatnot. We'll have some more action on Whatnot for you tonight for the Whatnot crowd. So here we go. It is now time to get into the second box. There's George Brett, all-star card, which is pretty nice. Let's see. Let's see what else we can find. Matthew Batten. There's also short prints in this. I don't think I discussed it in this video yet. Got a foil of Jose Azokar right there. But we're looking for a short prints of Jackson Holiday. That's the one that I really want to find. It's the, the FF fun face Jackson Holiday. It's, it's mimicking the Billy Ripken obscenity card with the bat knob that said F face but had the word written out. They did the same exact pose with Jackson Holiday on one of these 2024 Tops cards, except instead of writing the F word, they wrote fun. So it's fun face. It is an extremely valuable card. It's tough to find. I'm hoping that we can find it tonight. That would be pretty freaking amazing. We'll see if we can. There's also short prints of Wyatt Langford and Jackson Chorio, Jackson Merrill, all in this set as well to chase after. So there's definitely some chasers in this set, along with the Webb and Yama autos and the CJ Stroud autos. This is a fantastic, fun set. There's a black-bordered Javi Baez, number to 75, which is our first numbered card of this second box so far. Now, this box came to me today from Fanatics. So I did pre-order from Fanatics, and all of those boxes came in today. And I'm heading out to pick up my other cases for our breaks tonight from one of my dealers, who's luckily local. Bought a bunch of jumbo cases and some hobby cases from him. And then I think all my retail stuff will be in within a day or two. And then we'll be ripping that one. That comes in as well. whole lot of sorting in my future. I'm going to get quite familiar with all these cards. There's Shane Baugh's, our second numbered card of the box. It's a gold. Number to 2024. And look at this. We have a true photo variation. Short print of Trey Turner. That's a nice hit right there. These are tough pulls. So it strips away all the borders and the text and just gives you the photo. These cards are pretty rare to find. True photo variation short print of Trey Turner right there. Really, really nice. So congratulations, John Cashman. That's a good hit right there. We'll see what else we can find. In this box, still looking for the actual hit, which will be the auto or relic. There's Mason Wynn, one of the top 10 rookies. And we've got a home run challenge card there of Randy Arozarena. DJ LeMayhew here comes an all-star card. It's going to be Jazz Chisholm Jr., Junior Caminero, rookie card, one of the better names in this set. He's still only 20 years old. He is in the minors right now, but he'll be up again. Just 20 years old. has been pretty consistent in the minors. Likely going to take over that infield spot for Wander Franca, who we'll probably never see again. And our second box also produces a relic. It's a Hunter Brown. So it seems like relics, at least right now, with just two boxes opened, are going to be pretty common. We'll get a better feel for that once we open a bunch of these, a bunch of cases. And we'll try to track that as well for you. We'll, we usually have someone in the chat that likes numbers and likes to track that kind of stuff. And they'll track how many relics to how many autos. Right now, it's two relics to zero autos with the hobby boxes. At least I could say they're not the manufactured relics. Those are back as silver sluggers. Which are all numbered at least to 299, but I'm not even so I'm still not a big fan of those. Alrighty, here we go with John Cashman's second stack. We've got Bryce Harper, fan favorites, 1995 Fleer. Wade Meckler right there. Here's a Nolan Jones. It's upside down because it's a foil card. Kenta Maeda, Michael King, now with the Padres. A lot of the players that have changed teams in the offseason are in their new uniforms for Series 2. Luis Robert, hopefully he can stay healthy all year long. He's already been injured once. The rest of the way, we need him to stay healthy. White Sox need him to stay healthy. They don't want to have the worst ever record. They don't want to be the 62 Mets. There's Shohei Otani. My son pulled that card today. He's uh, pretty happy about it. I caught him looking at it for a nice long time, reading the back. There's Ronald Acuna Jr., another significant stats card. He was the MVP last year. This year he's done already. Shota Imanaga, seeing that card again. 
arguably the number two rookie, but I don't know. What's the ceiling on Shota Imanaga cards? I mean, he's already 30. How long, much longer in his prime does he have? Four or five years? Probably not going to be a Hall of Famer. You wouldn't think, unless he ends up pitching to 45. So, I don't know. It might be a, a card that doesn't end up keeping a ton of value over the long run. And we got Shoyo Tani, 1989. Beautiful looking card right there. And we've got our last pack here for John Cashman. It's the silver pack. Again, we'll do 100 of these silver packs once I get 100 of them to do. Let's see. We've got Hanram, Hanley Ramirez, Anthony Volpe, Aaron Nola, and Wade Meckler rookie card is the final one in the silver pack. So that's all we have for you for right now. There's the hobby boxes for you. I think the maybe the best card in there. What would you say? Maybe the true photo variation of Trey Turner. Definitely the rarest hit. Before we go, I'd like to remind you, we are sponsored by Whatnot, and we go live on Whatnot every Wednesday. It's Wednesday today, so we've got a double live stream for you. We'll be live on YouTube around between 6 and 7 p.m. for a couple hours, open in Series 2. Then we'll go over to Whatnot to continue the fun. But if you're not on Whatnot, download the link um, or download the app, and then sign up using this link. Make sure you sign up using this link so you get $15 for free to spend from Whatnot as a thank you. So it's whatnot.com slash invite slash jabs family. And once you sign up using that link, get you all of your shipping information, your credit card information typed in and saved, it'll preload $15 into your account. So if you come by tonight and buy something in our live stream, let's say you buy a, I don't know, maybe we do a pop-up break of Series 2, you buy a spot for 40 bucks, it'll automatically take it down to, what, $25, $15 off. So check it out. It's an awesome offer right there, and we're live there every Wednesday. So Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying Series 2. Let me know if you have had any big pulls yet. I know that Series 2 is on the shelves. I picked some up this morning, and I um, also let my brother know, so hopefully he could pick some up. But, yeah, it's super exciting to see the new stuff out on the shelves. I went to Walmart today and grabbed it. Big shout-out to Phil, who gave me the uh, the hat tip, or, or hat tip to Phil for giving me the tip that it was out at Walmart. So I was able to get some blasters, hangers, and fats uh, that will be – featuring here on the channel a little bit. In fact, that's where the shorts that you saw earlier today, the hanger box and the fat pack came from. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday and I hope to see you in both of our live streams tonight. Again, probably 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern time here on YouTube is the start time and probably like 9-ish Eastern time on whatnot until, you know, 11 p.m. midnight, somewhere in there. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.